So of course here they're telling me I got it correct, but this is, will not be presented in your exam. Okay, this is only for the demo. Okay, good. So we are done with the ticket one. When you're done with the ticket one, that goes in the read. So you can't go back to ticket one anymore. So now let's go to the ticket two. Okay. Uh, now what? My window kind of got stuck here. see whether I can so it's the same you know let me do a ticket two. Uh, the ticket two says implementation group has been using testbed to do a proof of concept that require both client one and two access the web server after set several changes to the interface uh, status network addressing routing scheme layer to connectivity trouble ticket has been opened indicating client one cannot ping address 209 65 200 241 uh, address so it's the same problem ticket two is the same problem the answers are similar. If you look at the answers, they all pointing to the same answers: R1, R2, R3, R4, DSW1, and ASW1. So this is the beauty about this T-shoot, you know, exam, where the question is the same, the answers are the same. So selecting the right answers varies from from individual cases. Okay, your answers and the other person's answers are very could be very different based on what is the situation. So you must know, must know how to gather information to define your problem and analyze them, come to a uh, probable cause, and then uh, you know uh, resolve uh, the particular problem. Okay, let's minimize it and let's get back to the same issue. Okay, client cannot ping. Uh, what we do now? Uh, let me bring my scenario here. Sorry, layer two uh, topology. So let me go to the R3 and do the same ping. Hey, R3 cannot ping this web server. So right away I know that I'm pretty lucky. So I know it's nothing wrong with that ASW1, DSW1, R4. Uh, my problem may be uh, at R2. Uh, let me do this. Uh, ping 209.65.200.241. I cannot ping. So right away I know it's nothing wrong with that R3. Uh, in fact, R3 may able to ping R3 interfaces. Let me prove that that works. 172.16.1.4. Uh, Boom. <laughs> that is not working though. I'm sorry. That is that is the wire address. I was pinging the wrong address. I see it's something that you really have to be careful. You can ping the five. You can ping the three. I'm sorry, five and six, but not the four though. So don't you know misunderstand and or you know uh, be careless and by pinging the wrong places and make a wrong conclusions. Okay. So, uh, so I know that okay from R3 seem to be good. Uh, just to make sure, uh, can I do ping to my client from there? Uh, mm -hmm. Seem to be from R2. I can't uh, even get to the client. Uh, let me do this from my R3 here. Uh, 16 uh, 2.3. I can from R3 downward seem to be pretty good. Uh, R2 seem to have some problems so uh, how about r1 uh, you know uh, at upstream uh, ping uh, 209.65.200.241 you can ping okay so r1 seem to be able to access so nothing wrong with the from you know going out from r1 to outside world so it's something localized problem uh, i'm very tempted to look at the uh, sorry at the r2 uh, I'm really tempted to see the, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, okay, so I can, can I ping the local interfaces on, on, on my uh, left side, 1.1, uh, okay, so local interface, okay, so nothing wrong with the interfaces, okay, so nothing wrong with the interfaces, that means something with the routing, so let me do a show IP route at R2, hmm, what is that shows, so you only see C and C, Two routes at CEC that mean there are directly connected interfaces and no dynamic uh, dynamic routes. So we know from our earlier scenario that uh, we are running EAGRP in R1, R2, R3, R4, and DSW1. So there is no dynamic route at R4. So let me do a comparison. Show IP route at R3. You have D. D indicate EAGRP. So R4 is good. You know, we are comparing by similarities, right? R2 is not good. Uh, so what is the next level? I can do show uh, IPEIGRP 
Uh, let me do a neighbor. Hmm, no neighbors. No neighbors. How come no neighbors? Okay, now time to look at Shoran. Uh, so I have uh, uh, zero zero interface. They have uh, at R two. There seem to be some sub interfaces uh, with a frame relay. Yes, that's cloud. The cloud that they are running on the frame relay interface. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. So the interface addresses are correct. Um, you know the interface uh, status. You know there's no shut command. So there should be decent there. Uh, let me look at this. Hmm. There is an issue, uh, I believe, in the EHRP with the passive interface. Um, uh, notice, um, even though they have enabled passive interface default, you know, which is they are not advertising, uh, you know, uh, EHRP in all the interfaces in R2. They only made an exception to interface 000, but they never made interf exception to. Uh, 0 0.12 and 0 0.23 the sub interfaces are not being enabled uh, so all interfaces uh, will not be talking EAGRP so the issue uh, most probable reason is related with the passive interface uh, that enabled on you know uh, on the interface uh, 0 0.12 and 0 0.23 so if that is the case let us you know so issue is at R2 technology is routing and the, the solution is that so let me press the answer key now. Uh, bring up at R2. Go to the next question. E related to uh, EHRP routing. Next question. How do I turn on this? Uh, maybe we have to delete the passive interface default. Okay, we take it out of that. Then the EHRP will be start. You know, will be you know. Uh, uh, will be interacting with the uh, you know the upstream and downstream routers so now press done and let's see okay you have answered three out of the three questions correctly good we're good to go in trouble ticket two so let's go 